Alrighty, everybody. Rising Phoenix Antiques here. Um, this is video number two for these Takara Belmont barber chairs. And uh, I like to call them the Star Trek chairs because they've got that awesome futuristic space age vibe. Mid-century, if you will, someone, uh, some might say. Um, but we've got two of these. So there's that one and this one. For the sake of this video and for... The listing on eBay um, where you'll find these for sale. We're calling this chair number one and the other one number two. Um, so the first video, which is already on Facebook, talks about the hydraulics. Uh, number one chair, we noticed, did not go up as high. And I now know why that is. Um, this chair we had to take apart to get out of a basement. And while moving... It to our trailer um, during the removal process, my uh, uh, assistant tipped it all the way over flat. And, of course, hydraulic fluid came out of the cylinder. Now, if that's normal or not, I don't know. Maybe it's not supposed to. But we noticed fluid visible fluid in both of the cylinders on both chairs. So I'm thinking um, that you can simply add more hydraulic fluid to get more height. Um, and that shouldn't be a problem. Um, watch the other video to talk about the hydraulics. So anyways, um, all we did was uh, for the number one chair is get it put back together. Um, so we're going to walk around. You'll notice um, bam, it's got the original pull out ashtray. Now it's a little, um, loose, but there used to be a bolt right here and you can't see the hole, but it would go from inside the arm down through and that, um, would slide back and forth on that. I think that provided a little bit of tension to keep it elevated and that bolt's no longer there. So there you go. But the fact that that original ashtray is there is pretty damned awesome. Um, it does spin beautifully like that. So that works. Um, again, hydraulics do work. Um, not guaranteeing that it doesn't need a new seal, but it goes up and it stays up. And I think it will go higher with more fluid. Um, you've got the arm. Um, th we noticed this one is a bit stiffer than the other one, but it does tighten so the, that the chair does not rotate. But it's a little bit stiff. I think it could definitely use some lubrication somewhere. Um, and then, you know, of course, the pump action works, as we said. We also noticed that um, compared to uh, chair number two, that the arm on this one is a little more difficult to um, ray or to uh, uh, lower the uh, back or raise the feet, which happened. Oh, there we go. So it does work. Um, on the other one, when you pull back, oops, it almost the the the, the uh, back rest almost pops back into place on its own. This one you kind of got to do it manually or obviously if someone's sitting in the chair. Um, have no idea what this is for, but it's on both uh, chairs. Um, the headrest on chair one and two. They go in and out, but for some reason, neither one of the um, snap position buttons is working. Um, you've got the original towel bar right here. You've got the original um, razor strap right there. Um, all the original panels and stuff are on here. Obviously, you know, your headrest has got a few issues here and there. Um, you know, you're going to find defects all over. You know, chrome trim, um, you know, dings here and there, dings in the uh, porcelain. Um, this, we think that's a bullet uh, indent right there. It sure looks like it. Um, and since this came from Minneapolis, St. Paul, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, you are missing a piece of chrome trim right here. Again, we're looking at chair number one right now. Um, otherwise, um, also, chrome trim that goes along the front right there is missing. Um, so that is 
pretty much chair number one. It's there, missing two pieces of chrome trim, needs a little bit of finesse, I think, maybe a little hydraulic fluid, but it works. Everything works. Um, not saying it doesn't need a um, seal. Uh, so here, and we're going to have this under there. There's the chair number one. There is the original Takara um, metal or brass uh, tag right there. Now, we told you that we took this apart to get it up the stairs. We did. These two pieces, I believe, are part of uh, some trim underneath. We don't honestly know where they went, but we're going to include them. The other chair we didn't have to take apart, but we didn't we couldn't couldn't find those on the other chair. So that's chair number one. Chair number two, same thing. We didn't touch up any. I mean, we didn't try to shine the chrome or anything. We just gave these a, a nice wipe down. But man, these things are going to shine up really nice. Um, has the original badge underneath the seat, just like chair number one. Has the original ashtray, a little stiffer. Eh, right. Oh, look at that. We're going to get rid of those. Uh, got some uh, vintage cigarette butts there. Um, but as far as I know, and we're looking, looking, looking. Okay, yep, so you got a piece of chrome trim missing right there, just the corner, and the same right there. We didn't take this apart, so that's how we got it. There's the original towel bar. Um, you got the original sh uh, sharpening strap hook right there. Um, you got this, which, again, we have no idea what it is. Same thing on here. Um, again, you know, the headrest is all there, but for some reason the uh, ratchet height adjustment doesn't seem to be functioning. Um, Polstry's in pretty good shape. Um, yeah, this one also spins around really nice. Just like that. I mean, look at that. I mean, come on, man. You can't beat these chairs. This is chair number two. It's wonderful. The only thing we are going to do is the uh, footrest on both chairs. We're going to clean up and then try to polish that up a little bit. That's it. Um, so, if you buy chair number one or chair number two, you're getting exactly what you're seeing in this video. That's it. Um, this arm uh, seems to operate much easier. Tighten, loosen, everything works. You know, um, we're going to, let's see, see if we can do this here. Yeah, I mean, this, the recline feature works much better on this one. And then we let it go. And... Okay, maybe we're gonna do it like that. Okay, well, anyways. Here, let's push it down. There we go. Okay, so anyways, everything works. Um, these are awesome chairs. Buy them both. You need them both. Go to eBay, search Rising Phoenix on the net, and... Uh, that's our user ID, all one word, and you should find these. If you don't see them, that means someone already bought them. Thanks.